In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to bulk change uh, entry names in iTunes. So taking a look at this example from here, you can see that I like Opera. All of these entries um, were burned with the album as good or damn wrong, which is true. Uh, but this is a four disc set and the other discs uh, came in as the good or damn wrong, which is actually how it's supposed to be. Now, of course, obviously when you burn a CD, often you'll access, access the Grace Note or one of the databases online, and you don't always have the exact choices that you want for the title name. So what I could do is just take one of these and edit it, um, which let's, let's try that first. So we're just gonna highlight the title, let's right click to bring up the menu, and left click on Get Info. And you can see the recording information is here, but let's go to the Info tab. And we can change the album to D, go to Dameron, and click OK. And you can see the change has been made. The problem is that I don't want to make that change that many more times. So let's do a bulk change. So I'm going to select one, and this is just like bulk highlighting, uh, shift click any kind of files if you were doing um, multiple Word documents, whatever it is, it's the same concept. So let's go ahead and left click on go to Demerung, and then I'm going to come down here. Now I hold down the shift key, and I left click again to select them all. Let's go over that one more time. So the group is going to be from here to here. I'm going to hold, so that I've, so I've clicked the left mouse to highlight the first entry. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to scroll the mouse down to the bottom and left click again. Now I've selected all of the entries that I want to change. And now we just go through the same procedure. I'll right click to bring up the menu. Let's go ahead and left click on get info. Notice that it says now multiple item information. Obviously, I, there's certain things I can't change, like the location, but let's come over here to Album, and let's click D-I-E, and let's click OK. I made the change, and if you notice now, all of them have been changed, and that's all that you need to do.